Welcome to Dan AIG YouTube. Imale Agbogun say Nigeria no be private property of some few greedy leaders. Make I leave you, make you hear the message we bring come today. Enjoy the video. Yes, 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 yes. Good evening, my ever progressive, ever dogged ever conscious as the old people i remain no other person than yours number right activist comrade i bogey manuel and uh, if you are just joining us this evening feel free to stay tuned please share this broadcast uh and invite others to join because uh we would be giving room for everybody to make their obvious contributions tonight uh firstly as you all know i am um, Comrade I Bogu Imano and I am an ardent supporter of the APC in the Do State. Uh, I'm also a supporter of Pastor Saigeze Yamu as uh, the candidate of the APC in the just concluded uh, Edo gubernatorial elections. Uh, but very frankly, there are certain issues that I believe if not brought to the public before the public uh, domain and to the public career, uh, young persons who have actually come out to galvanize support, not just only from my platform, from other grassroots uh, segment of our society, ranging from word to local government to state levels that have also come out to show their support and solidarity for the APC and their candidate and their leadership, ranging from the personalities of the Adam Ali Oshomole, the middle past governor of Edo State, uh, Pastor Saigeze Yamu, name them, leaders that can go on and on and on and on. But the truth be said that as a pragmatic young man and as somebody who believes so much in the future of my state and the well-being of my state, it will be very wrong for me to believe in a process that does not stand united as a front to better the lots, when I mean the lots, to better the lots of our people in the two states and in Nigeria at large. Uh, some of you want to argue why is Emmanuel coming out to talk about the issues of leadership at a time like this when we have just lost uh, a case talking more of, about perjury and forgery uh, a case that is very obvious to even the blind even if you had earlier today watched uh, channels television where you saw one of uh, the spokesperson for the Edo State government and the person of uh, Barista Nwata coming out to throw more light on the issue of uh, the certificate issues and ranging issues of perjury, you know, as the case may be. He obviously said that uh, uh, even if the governor had tendered wrong and forceful information in 2016, that has since elapsed, uh, which was very laughable. You know, and in 2020, a different information also from what was uh, presented to INEC in 2016. So, being somebody who is a uh, conscious mind, <laughs> we decided to just uh, overlook things and allow the process in which the APC have found themselves to lead. But the truth be said, 
A house divided against itself cannot stand. As I speak to you, there are people who are APC, and there are people who are in APC, and there are people who owns APC. I don't know if you can marry these three issues I just raised, but to be very factual with you, the crisis rocking in those states ranging from the elections to issues that border on the election to issues that border on pre-election matters are obviously letting some of us know that the APC is divided against itself. And particularly the reason for this division started long before the Edo elections. But it is just getting done to the glare now that the scenes of 2023 if you if you remember closely APC won an election in Bayasa, the judiciary obtained it not just because uh, the APC uh, does not like to govern Bayasa, no but because the forces that be in APC the forces that rule in APC believes that if Bayasa is considered to APC and David Leon remains the governor of Bayasa their quest for 2023 will be threatened. So what did they do? They fought around the judiciary to obtain an election that, you know, somebody got the overwhelming support of a do people, of a Bayasa people at the polls. That set aside, we married that to a do state. We also married that to issues of uh, emo state. Now, talking about Edo State, the powers that be are also doing everything humanly possible to ensure that they set aside the obvious case of perjury and forgery against the governor to give room for their interest for 2023. The truth be said, uh, I am coming from an activist background, so Despite the fact that I'm not a card carrying member of the APC, but haven't shown solidarity, haven't shown support, only to the fact that it is constitutional and lawful to do so. Uh, it is constitutional to vote as a supporter, and if you so in you know, not the interest of coming to, you know, serve your people at the capacity you feel best you can offer, you have the right to be voted for, and when you choose to be voted for, you must have to come under certain platforms political platforms as the case may be and as you all know i am only a, 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 a supporter of the apc particularly a supporter of uh, pastor saigese yamu and his candidature i supported him in 216 and i never saw anything wrong in supporting him in 2020. now we have two disturbing issues uh currently facing us as a people particularly those of us who support the APC. We do not see the political wisdom in an APC federal -led government that has talked about judicial impunity, that has talked about judicial rascality, that has always done everything humanly possible to ensure that there is sanity in the judiciary. Fold their hands, looking at the high level of judicial abracadabra, as the case may be, that is not seeing the wrongs in our society to be right. For crying out loud, someone gave false information. And we all know the consequences by law when false information you know, is being seen to be you know, the information that someone has brought before an electoral process, we all know the consequences that it is spelled out in our law. When we say our law, particularly our electoral laws, but when a party that talks about anti-corruption, that talks about judicial uprightness, decides to fold their hands, as I speak to you, there is a case in a those states 
that has to do about the demolition of uh, Tilatifa hotels and suits. Today, that matter is still being frustrated for being hard. And nobody seems to be concerned here. Today, it is now a matter that has to do with pre-election issues and matters that border on perjury. The same lackadaisical approach that have greeted very many issues that worry on APC and their interests. This same obvious approach to matters is what we see at the end of the day. Now, the truth be said, the obvious truth be said, uh, I do not know how some elders see politics, but as a young man, I believe if one must strive in a political atmosphere, honesty, accountability, and the respect for the rule of law must be the foundation and the approach to issues for any political aspirant or platform to have the other of the day. Now, it is very wrong for us to continue to believe that the APC you know, is united and it, is, it believes in its common manifesto and constitution as a party. Let me tell you this. Looking at the chain up of election activities, are you aware that till date, <coughs> President Muhammad Buhari have really not taken it serious to address issues, his own party issues. An election in Edo, he never visited any of the campaigns, whether pre-election, post-election, he never visited any of the party affairs. Even at the verge of the party, getting its candidature as Pastor Saigeze Yamu in the Edo Gubas, the president reluctantly handed over the party flag to him and immediately after the elections congratulated the winner and also said that it's a show that he's a democrat but when it comes to issues that have affected the process that will give hope to his party you know to emerge he has also shut the door uh, very many people will say that's a lie, but I come out straight and plain to say that is the obvious truth. See, the issue of uh, Asiwa Juwame Bolatini will becoming president and the scenes that surround it is the obvious reason why a do high court case is obviously being truncated. Now, for me, I would, I would obviously not be scared to say that from what I've seen in the High Court in Abuja, I do not see anything coming out different from what would happen in the Appeal Court and also in the Supreme Court. And I bet you, even if the Appeal Court would want to do something different, the Appeal Court might give a contrary judgment stating the obvious before them. But I bet you the Supreme Court will, will further truncate the efforts. <laughs> Take my words to the bank. I tell you the Supreme Court will further truncate the efforts to the extent that they will give a judgment and take a later date for explanation and total interpretation of their judgment. See, since the history of Nigeria coming from the First Republic to date, I don't think we have had this kind of political atmosphere than what we are seeing today. Uh, I think to some level, uh, some of us would, would, would not want to feel bothered, but the truth be said, I have followers who look up to me, I have followers who I have told to believe in the process. People would ask, Emmanuel, what has become your interest in APC all of a sudden? 
the truth be said, everybody knows that I am not a supporter of the policies of Governor Goldie Nogigas of Baseki because it does not further interpret what a prudent leadership, what a transparent leadership, and what a leadership that should be held on the grounds of accountability should exhibit. <coughs> Hope they say is a tool for progress. But what hope is the APC giving to younger generations that are having the honestness ambition to believe in them? We have a president who have said young people who he signed the not too young to run bill for should wait till 2023 before they can begin to nurse such ambition. How come that the president is sitting down as commander in chief, presiding over government, and his party as a political party is losing states under his leadership and he feels on, on, on disturbed. So the truth be said, we, or I will use the word myself, as a student of Zig Ziglar and as a, someone who believes in his theory, doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting another answer is another form of madness. An election that was obvious that we were going to win, the doors were shut against us. In fact, party members in the APC supported the opposition to ensure that we never saw the colors of victory. Now, if you are telling somebody like me to believe in such a political ideology, I will be going against my conscience. I will be going against what I believe should be the right thing. Look at it. Firstly, you have gotten a political party that have preached on the basis of rule of law, on the basis of accountability, on the basis of what uprightness should be. But what are we seeing in turn? What we are seeing in turn is that this same political ideology that they believe in and they say they, 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 they obviously want, they are not exhibiting it when it comes to their own party issues. When it comes to their own party affairs, how do you feel today that a governor who was once APC sat down as a governor, presided over the party at the state level to suspend the national chairman of a ruling party, went to courts, got all the right interpretations to unseat the chairman of the courts, and at, uh, the, uh, the chairman of the party, and at a time when justice is thrown towards his own personal issue, he still enjoying the same support of that same political process to truncate the efforts of party men and party faithfuls in a state. What kind of political uh, 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 description do you call that? Governor Godwin Nogegase of Baseki suspended Oshomoli for anti-party activities. The State Working Committee ratified After ratifying it, Governor Gordon Nogegase of Baseki decamped from the party because he could not enjoy the support of the leadership of the party to screen him with these results that are in contest today. And what a court will rely on 
is that the statement and evidence of a vice or a deputy uh, 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 registrar who was not the registrar in 1976 when Obasaki gained admission <coughs> could come out to say that the results are valid. Come on, we live in Nigeria where anything is possible. And decide not to talk about the issues of perjury, the issues of false information, the issues of lying on that oath. Decide not to, you know, throw more light on it at the level of the courts. And such political process will fold their hands. What led to this same government going to the House of High Court uh, as uh, uh, appeal court judges? High Court judges to the extent of unseating uh, 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 the CJL of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for issues of abuse of office and abuse of power and for issues of corruption. What has since changed? It should be said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Uh, at, at some level, when you realize your position in the society, and you see that people look up to you, not only for material gains, but for informative benefits and for informative gains. It will be very foolish of you to come out and begin to deceive the people when you know that that which you are telling them is not obvious. The APC has a party. The leadership as a party should, as a matter, particularly at the level of a do state, should, as a matter, come out to tell their supporters what the obvious are. <laughs> I, I, I have been managing a platform where supporters from diaspora are even waiting for congratulatory messages for thank you messages and yet they are not seen and the hope that they are getting from leaders is to have hope in the process in which they are engaging them themselves currently to see how they can rule on the legality of our laws to also get power to better the lots of our people. But what have we seen? Is that that same process, I've said this over and over again, is still truncating it. So if you are somebody like me who have platform where people will come out to listen and we will not say the needful to our people, then it's obvious we are telling ourselves lies. And I will not want to be a part and parcel to that process that will begin to inherit political enemies, political witch hunters of past leaders, all because we want to support a process that we believe in? No. Everybody in the two states knows that Emmanuel S. I. Bogun is not a supporter of Godunoke Gasso of Basaki and his style of leadership. Before the advent of Pastor Saige Zayamu emerges as a candidate under the APC. Some of us have always exhibited the fact that the style of governance in which we have been governed in those states is not what we can keep quiet over. So marrying me, you know, at times I look at posts, people who have been following me for years, calling me an APC man, calling me a member of APC, calling me an EPM member. No. Every right-thinking mind must support an ideology that shares the same philosophy with his or her. So for me, I, 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 would, I wouldn't be foolish enough to say uh, in the last Edo gubernatorial elections, I would not support the, an APC that I saw had a formidable candidate and that I also saw that has the political structure to unseat a government that I never believed in. The argument has been that the resources available to this government is, or rather, 
cannot match the expenditure on ground. And everybody, every right thinking person knows what that means. So my people, uh, before drawing this broadcast to a conclusion, it will be very wrong of me not to hear from the feeders of the audience who have been listening, and particularly those of you who have been following me and who are my fans. I can see a whole lot of you here. Uh, I can see uh, Austin Ekato. I can see Festus Amada. So I can see a whole lot of you who follow me. I can see uh, Mac CP Mafidon. I can go on and on. I can see Greg Osai. <coughs> so that is it. So my lines are thrown open and to, to make the discussion very constructive and elaborate tonight, you can actually call in on WhatsApp. You can actually call in on direct calls. And if you look very carefully on your on your social media page, you will see that um, my number is out there 080-3364-1993. So our first caller today will get two minutes to make his uh, her contribution and every other caller gets one minute 30 seconds. So if you are going to be the first caller, do us that favor by, by calling in now. Because uh, for some of us, we can no longer you know, continue to give support to a platform that does not want to organize itself. It took the APC to realize after elections that people like Anselm Ojezwa were working against the platform and they remained the PC chairman after elections. Come on, where, what, what political has, uh, a, a, a platform will tolerate that? that? That that must be serious with the business of governance. What about first caller calling in here? Caller, your name and where you're calling from? Yeah. Yes, caller, your name and where you're calling from? My name is Dave David. I'm calling from Italy. Okay, Dave David, you're welcome. Uh, can you be quick? Okay, okay, okay. My what? brother, you have said it all. You have said it all. God bless you. You know, one thing is that uh, APC, they are betrayals. And uh, most of them don't even think that 2023 is still far. Most of them don't think that 2023, whether if they can be able to reach 2023, they don't know. You see what happened yesterday in uh, this case. No even the uh, PDP, no be no, no even the uh, APC critical committee or public or uh, publicity come out to come and say, okay, this case we are going to appeal, we are going to take it to Supreme Court. We are going to do it like this. No one talk anything until now. I'm really, really surprised for the party. Okay. You just got 30 minutes really, to make your, your contribution. Sir. Okay. My brother, I'm really, really surprised for the party because that party, that party, I don't see APC as a party. They are a bunch of fools. That's no, what no, I call no, no. them. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. But please... Uh, I wouldn't like you to call and use abusive words. You can actually pass your message without using any derogative uh, statements. Uh, and you can actually pass your message constructively. Uh, you have seen just by the fact that it's obvious that I'm not happy about the issue. But I've also not cast up as passion, you know, abusive languages on anybody. You can actually pass your message without uh, using any foul language or any derogative uh, words. To make a statement so that is it as the case may be so if you are out there and you want to make your contributions the lines are obviously thrown open the lines are obviously thrown open and do not forget since i started this broadcast i have really not pleaded to most of you who are out there if you know you are actually getting information from this broadcast on this platform please ensure that you actually help us to share, like, 
this broadcast. So do not forget the number to call in to make your contributions. It's 80 If you hear what the first caller just said, Dave David is always on my platform. I can remember how he called me during the elections. And he made a statement. He said, APC is a bunch of betrayers. And that's the only truth. We have another second caller calling in again. Hello, caller. Your name and where you're calling from? Oh, I think we lost this. It also became a missed call. So these are the issues. These are the issues. This is the first time in a PDP ruled Nigeria for 16 years. There were differences in the, in the, in the, in the PDP. But they seem to be the most organized political platform we have in this country. Hate it or love it. At least they have always not allowed personal matters to cloud, you know, party issues. Hello, good evening. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello? Hello, good evening. Your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is Kevin. I'm calling from Sweden. Uh, my brother is my husband. You have tried all your best. But can I tell you the true part of it? PUI is really the only thing what is sold. Because before PUI was still a trader. That is why now it's really what is sold. You don't have to complain. You know, now, for me, you have tried your best. Just go and read. Okay, you heard what this uh, caller caller said. Uh, but when you say reaping what he sold, uh, you had enough time to expand shit on that. You never give any issues, so it will be very wrong of me to just believe into what you are saying, even as a, a fan of mine. Uh, so we're, we're here, we're listening. And to those of you who want to call in, the lines are open, our numbers are out there. But the truth be said, we can do a whole lot better. Hello, good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from? Good evening. This is Kevin from Scandinavia. Okay, Kevin. Uh, we have too many Kelvins calling in today. Kevin, what's your take? I believe you've been watching us. Please talk on the subject matter. Okay, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching. I just want to ask. Uh, some little question from you because uh, I don't understand what is going on in Nigeria anymore. Is there only the poor people who is not above the law? Eh? I don't understand. So, don't say this. Is someone is calling inside. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is the man that submits this is the man of Baseki submit different certificates with different error. They still hate the young people ahead that give that judgment. What about if someone that is he does have money? Poor man. Do you think that this a case like that? I know it's not that I believe, I know it's not over yet. But this thing is not clear at all. You mean if you have money, you can do anything in Nigeria? Now that means the judge and the, 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 the people that are on top, that means they are not they are not supposed to be there. Why can someone that submits document to INE? The new people know that this thing is very the you people now spend a lot of money. All this money they are spending, spending is is is, is, is a no state money. All this money is enough to settle this the market that bond. It's enough for them to fix market that bond. I don't understand, sir. That is why you're called. Because okay. I don't really understand. I know that most of the APC leader, they are not supporting. I don't know that they are not to confuse. We don't know what, what to believe. If they are who they are, our president Buhari, I'll see Bato. I'll see Bato is a pastor. Uh, pastor Saiki is a pastor. The same routine. You cannot work with your if you cannot work with your party. Let's leave party aside. You cannot work with a fellow pastor like you. Don't stand. What is going on, sir? Can you wait a little bit or can I hang the line? Let me listen to you. Yeah, sure. You you should. You should. Thank you. Yeah, sure. 
So, um, I really do not understand because a whole lot of people, I, I, I really do not understand. These are same issues uh, you know, that have been bogging my head all day. You know, uh, today I, I, I had to get across to friends, uh, you know, that live uh, uh, within the corridors of the Africa. Hello, caller. Good evening. Your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Yeah, good evening, my name Yeah, good evening. Your name and where you're calling from. Uh, my, name, my name is Alan. I'm calling from Italy. Okay, you're calling from Italy. Hello, are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to. I just want to thank you for your effort and uh, your struggle for the betterment of the society in general. So my main reason of calling is to also advise on the uh, callers and from commenters on your platform. And uh, the struggle is actually for the for the overall interest of the most of the things you struggle for and the way I see they are yeah, actually not that issue. Like when I see you talking about the the Asian city of the name, the lack of street light and Yes, we're here. Sorry for that bridge in the uh, transmission. Uh, if you are trying to call us, our lines are open. The number to reach us on is 0033641993. Yes, yes, yes. APC is now becoming a house, a political party that is divided against the if the center can still hold. Yes, good evening, Mr. Kola. Your name and where you're calling from? Oh, yeah. Good evening. My name is Seth Tomatoes. Yeah, Mr. Kola. Yeah, where evening. are you calling us from? I'm calling from Spain. Okay, Mr. Tomatoes, you're welcome. Uh, what's your contribution? Be quick yeah, about I it. Yes? What's your contribution? Please be quick about it. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to thank you for all that you have done. That is somebody that will be this for four years because he now becomes now you are not coming up with a certificate or something like that. But still, there is an issue. Oh no, that is it. The one thing is this: APC should try to put their hands, their hands in order because if they don't do that, uh, I don't see the one side system of government. I don't support that. That is the only way I want to contribute. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you heard what the caller just said: APC has to put their house in order. And these are the obvious facts why some of us say a house divided against itself cannot stand. Hello, good evening, caller. Hello. Yeah, good evening, caller. Your Hello. Good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from? Uh, yes, good evening. This is Kevin. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I can hear you. I heard you were saying about uh. Oops. Please and please and please and please, if you want to call me, please stick to the number on the platform. Do not call other of my lines. You'll be truncating the broadcast. You won't be heard. You won't be heard. I won't be heard. So if you want to call, just stick to the platform, please. Stick to the number on the platform. You'll be heard. I'll be here for as long as you want. Yeah, hello, good evening. Your name and where you're calling hello. from. Yeah, hello, good evening. Your name and where you're calling from. Uh, sorry, I'm calling from London. Uh, I just want to contribute my, 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 my brother. You see what's going on in the industry. Let me tell you something. Yeah? I didn't tell you that you're not doing your job. If it's a country that is working, a country that is, that is really, really working. My brother, let me tell you something. A lot of people, a lot of people have been here already. I'm telling you. Yeah, good evening. But we're we're having issues with network and Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Yeah, we're having issues with network. Uh just give me a few minutes. Hang on, give me a few minutes. I see you've been calling in since. Hang on, I want to talk to the audience yeah. who are trying to call in. Give me a few minutes, please. Okay. I will want to plead with you. I know very many of you who are watching have various various of my numbers. Please if you're not calling on the number of the screen, you're trying to truncate today's broadcast. And I believe that's not your intention. 
your intention is for your voice to be heard. I'm pleading with you, if you see you're actually killing the strength of the viewers here because uh, what they are trying to hear is actually going uh, uh, off. So if you can do me this favor, please stick to the WhatsApp number on this line that you see have been pinned down here and stick to the mobile number on this same line. It's either you're calling me on WhatsApp or you're calling me on direct call. So either of the two, we're here to uh, serve you and also get your contribution on our today's discourse. Uh, so please, if you're here with me, please stick to this number. If you have other of my numbers, respect my right, you know, to, to bro freely broadcast. Respect it by not truncating it on this broadcast today. So if you are with me, please, I'm begging you, if you are wherever you are, we're talking issues affecting us. So if you're trying to truncate it, it's as if you're fighting the totality of us who are actually here listening and, you know, getting information from ourselves. So please, I want to plead with you. The numbers to call remain 0033641999. I just the vex, you know. How can somebody who knows that we should be talking to ourselves on this particular screen I'm calling with sit down in this comfort zone because you want to get access to talking on the platform? You are actually truncating the programming which you want to call in, knowing fully well that <coughs> those numbers are what is giving me uh, 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 internet uh, connection to be on this platform. It goes a long way to show how difficult people can be, you know, at times when they ought to be understanding. Uh, I would want to apologize on their behalf. Uh, if you are here and you want to contribute, please stick to the WhatsApp number and the direct call number pinned down on my platform, on the comment section. The number still remains 0033641993. So if you're there and uh, you want to contribute, go further. And if you're also on the comment section, I'll also try my best to also take uh, answers, uh, questions that are on the comment section. So I can answer my question. They just see the look, they look at me because people they call me since I don't know what to tell them. Save that number interfering and block it. I, I wouldn't, I don't like blocking people from trying to express themselves, but I think that would be the obvious thing I need to do. So, please, I want to beg, I don't want to block your number from assessing my, 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 my line, but please be matured enough. You're trying to call into the program to make your contribution, so why don't you uh, be an understanding fellow by? not calling that line there are other lines you can approach now no call is here if you're calling the line on the screen you can actually you know get your voice heard and your questions are uh, attended to accordingly so please and please and please if you're the one doing that it won't help it will not just help at all So these are the issues. Yes, so um, while we're waiting for callers, uh, I think uh, people who do not want our voice to be heard are actually doing everything possible to kill the strength of today's view. And uh, some of them to actually... Uh, So I want to thank every one of you, uh, 80 of you who have uh, stood firm despite this huge interruption that have affected us today. But if you are here and uh, you would want to uh, get proper details of what would happen or the outcome or make contributions, I want to plead with you to uh, join my live broadcast tomorrow 9 a.m. when uh, our mobile hotspots will be available for, for transmission. I think uh, people are deliberately doing everything to ensure that they pull down this broadcast and I don't see the reason why. Uh, I try to complain, I try to block numbers, I've blocked four now 
and I don't think it would be nice for me to continue when people are aware that the number they are calling uh, is the number that wants to uh, give me internet uh, access <coughs> as the case may be so uh, my conscious people particularly my fans who are out there uh, I just want you to remain steadfast the truth be said is that uh, when you observe something and you don't say it out, you try to concede it, I think you'll be aiding misinformation and uh, that is not my person. And I, it would be wrong for me not to talk about the last caller who called in talking about the reason why he loves my job is that uh, I criticize obesity a lot. Yes, because uh, I'm not somebody that believes in failure. And for me, I think if the government is not doing that, I've said so many things about the government that has brought about, you know, progress. Uh, my criticism have also hidden results in many ways, and uh, I don't intend to stop that. Not until when I see that the good side of the government is actually outweighing the bad side of uh, the government. No system is a hundred percent right, but every system of governance must always ensure that the good side of their government, you know, outrides the bad side of it. And what we're seeing today in those stages is that the bad side of the government is, you know, outweighing the good side of the government. But very many people who are supporting the government today cannot even come out to pinpoint projects that are working in the state. Uh, despite the reforms that the government is talking about, we are still not seeing uh, uh, the ripple effect. Uh, the government has said they have created uh, 157,000 jobs. And our tax nets, our IGRO is not in any way uh, reflecting an increase. So when you see such a thing and you expect people of my caliber to just come out and begin to shout hallelujah, I don't understand what you, what you, you know, want that society to turn out to be in the nearest time, nearest future. So these are the issues. <coughs> so last caller, <coughs> sorry, if you strongly believe that... Uh, I'm not doing well by criticizing the government. I think uh, you can actually do well also by helping the audience know those achievements of the government that you feel uh, is the more reason why he should not be criticized. Uh, in as much as I know, the only beautiful thing about the government of the day is that they have projected to the saying that they want to build a seaport and they have also commissioned the uh, Osimo power. And this also more power is not in any way meeting up with uh, the aims and aspirations of Edo people. We still do not have lights in Benin City. We still do not have street lights. Traffic lights are very epileptic at major junctions. <coughs> we, are, we can still not see major roads being constructed by this government only to the fact that they see enjoy robust revenue. Oh, excuse me. We have issues and for me, it will be very wrong to support such a government and I will still come out tomorrow to say I want a better society. <coughs> so these are some of the issues. These are some of the issues, excuse me. So my people haven't uh, discussed this far. I want to beg to take a leave. And due to the nature of uh, interruption that we have experienced today. So if you are here with me, please do me that favor by sharing this broadcast and ensure you join us tomorrow 9 a.m. <coughs> God will be throwing more light into what we have started discussing today. And the truth be said, if we as young people in the platform do not come out to tell those people we look up to as leaders the truth, we cannot achieve the desired state we are looking for. So these are part of the reasons why some of us are actually <coughs> talking out our minds and what we feel is obvious and what we see, not what we feel, what we see is obvious. So once again, feel free to call me, my numbers are out there, feel free to patronize us for your C of O, we are here to serve you better, service and C of O, we are here to serve you better and timely. Do not forget, I remain no other person than your number right activist. It's been a long day for me and um, I think at this junction I want to take a, a shot and call it up tomorrow 9 a.m. So if you're here, please do me a favor by sharing this broadcast and um, to digress to the authority that needs to know.
So once again, I'm Emmanuel Ibogun, and uh, I always maintain my path of clear conscience and uh, <coughs> open and constructive criticism. Thank you, and continue to remain blessed. I am not that person, and you're a noble right activist, Emmanuel Ibogun. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast today. God bless you. Stay blessed. I beg, help us share this video to friends and family. If you get any other thing to add, join with me in my talk today for this video. You feel put out for comment session. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help us share. Thank you for watching that ARG YouTube.